Nice to have you with us. I 
loved music and singing and acting at school and to my parents' credit, which now as a parent myself I really do hold my eyes, they just anything I have an interest in and what all my brothers have an interest in, they, they support it. While studying art history at Trinity College in Cambridge, Redmayne performed in Shakespeare's Twelfth Night and caught the eye of a talent agent. You know, I always dreamt of doing this as a profession, but I didn't know how feasible that was. They had voice coaches and first group. It was kind of my drama school, really. And I suppose that's where I began to take it and myself seriously. Did your parents ever, despite all the support, whisper to you that this was going to be a tough road, maybe? Oh, I had a They did kind of encourage me to go to university to have a sort of backup plan. And I was like, what would you have done otherwise? And I kind of go, maybe a curator and all that. I have no right. idea, but I, I think that would be useless. It was good this worked out, otherwise Thank God. there's no backup Thank plan. God. Seriously, there really is no backup plan. Turns out, he didn't need one. In his first major movie, Redmayne found himself acting with Angelina Jolie and Matt Damon, directed by Robert De Niro in The Good Shepherd. I am very much enjoying seeing it. Redmayne's breakout came in 2012, when he played a leading role in the film adaptation of the iconic Broadway musical, Les Miserables. Later, he took on the challenging role of physicist Stephen Hawking in The Theory of Everything, earning praise from Hawking and an Oscar for himself. Well, there is light, there is hope. It's Oscar. It's Oscar. Do you flinch mm. a little bit when I use the term Oscar? Is Oscar? Why is that? The whole thing is so extraordinary. The second you win an Oscar, you get taken off the stage, thrust into this room with thousands of journalists. The adrenaline is pumping through the world, but it was only much later in the evening we were in this room overlooking the Sunset Boulevard and the sun started to rise over Sunset Boulevard. And for me, that, that was the moment that, that something. That, that felt real. Redmayne was nominated for Best Actor again the very next year for his performance in The Danish Girl, before taking a leap into blockbusters, starring in the Harry Potter spin-off series, Fantastic Beasts. The Billion Dollar Franchise launched the respected actor into a new kind of star. Did that change your ability to go outside and all those things? Like in London, I mean, it did shift things because it's you know it's seen by visiting to people. But those people that are passionate about that world, there's a great generosity to them. It was odd is sometimes when you go to countries you've never been to before, and so you're having a kind of tourist experience, and then people come up to you and right. then you become the attraction. Mm -hmm. You're there. Yes, yeah, exactly. Wait, 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 no, no, the pyramids. <laughs> yes. Now one of Hollywood. Main attractions, it is clear Redmayne chose the right career. I love what I do. You don't take it for granted because it, it's it's a wonderful, a wonderful existence. And you've proven to your parents that you made the right choice. It's just about. Yeah. <laughs> I think the Oscar probably. Well, um, yeah. The Good Nurse is showing now in select theaters and begins streaming on Netflix this Wednesday. Our thanks to the Blue Ribbon Brasserie in New York for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full interview with Eddie Redmayne. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. And next week, a new Sunday Sit Down with comedian Hassan Minaj on his latest Netflix special, his groundbreaking show Patriot Act, and the state of late night comedy. Hassan Minaj next week on Sunday Today. Let's turn now and get another quick check of your local Sunday weather. Good morning, Washington. I am Storm Team 4 meteorologist Ryan Miller. We've got some clouds across the area here and a couple of light showers possible from midday through the afternoon from D.C. into the eastern suburbs. The further west you travel, the drier it's going to be, the brighter and the warmer it's going to be. We're all in the 60s today. 70s return for high temperatures tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, even Thursday with sunshine expected each day. Okay, on Sunday, 
morning today, our highs and lows of the week, including the stunned dugout reaction by one major league all-star that spoke for baseball fans everywhere. What up next? The big story of a slave ship discovered in Alabama 160 years after its sinking. And it can be defined by a mystery more than a century and a half old. We're back in just 60 seconds. Yeah.